Well, good evening everyone and welcome to Evening Prayer for Monday the 21st of February 2022. I'm Reverend Amanda from the Parish of Harrington and District. Evening Prayer for Monday is on page 393 of A Prayer Book for Australia. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 119 verses 129 to 152. And verse 129 is on page 356. Our reading is from Luke chapter 7, verses 24 to 35. And I acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land and pay my respects to all First Nations people, especially the elders of the Biripai people, past, present and emerging. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. And we say together the opening canticle, a song of hope. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. The Lord has sent me to bind up the broken-hearted, to proclaim liberty for the captives and release for those in prison, to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of splendour for the heavy heart. They shall be called trees of righteousness, planted for the glory of the Lord. The day is now past and the night is at hand, let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And our psalm, Psalm 119 on page 356. You can say this with me or in alternate verses with me. Wonderful are your commands and therefore my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and draw in my breath for I yearn for your commandments. O turn to me and be merciful to me as is your way with those who love your name. Order my steps according to your word, that no evil may get mastery over me. Deliver me from my oppressors, that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes gush out with streams of water, because they pay no heed to your law. Righteous are you, Lord God, and just are your judgments. The commands that you have commanded are exceedingly righteous and true. Zeal and indignation have choked my mouth, because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word has been tried in the fire, and therefore your servant loves it. I am small and of no account, but I have not forgotten your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, but your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your commands is everlasting. O oh, give me understanding, and I shall live. I call with my whole heart. Hear me, O oh Lord, I will keep your statutes. I cry out to you, O oh, save me, and I will heed your commands. Before the morning light I rise and I call, for in your word is my hope. Before the night watch my eyes wake, that I may meditate upon your words. Hear my voice, O Lord, in your loving mercy, and according to your judgments, give me life. They draw near to me who maliciously persecute me, but they are far from your law. You, Lord, are close at hand, and all your commandments are true. I have known long since from your commands that you have founded them forever. ever. 
God who wonderfully created us and even more wonderfully restored our humanity. Strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to triumph over suffering and death and grant us eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our reading from Luke chapter 7 verses 24 to 35. When John's messengers had gone, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who put on fine clothing and live in luxury are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet, this is the one about whom it is written. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John, yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people who heard this, including the tax collectors, acknowledged the justice of God, because they had been baptised with John's baptism. But by refusing to be baptised by him, the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected God's purpose for themselves. To what then will I compare the people of this generation, and what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say, he has a demon. The Son of Man has come, eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. And we say the second canticle together, the song of God's children. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. It is the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit bears witness that we are God's children, and if God's children, then heirs of God. We are heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If we share his sufferings now, we shall be glorified with him hereafter. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing with the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And our collect for today. God of compassion, keep before us the love you have revealed in your Son, who prayed even for his enemies. In our words and deeds, help us to be like him, through whom we pray. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Prayers. Loving God, we pray for the peace of the world the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority, especially for the leaders of this nation in Parliament and the public service. We pray for the welfare of your Holy Church, for our Bishop Peter and Assistant Bishop Sonia and Charlie, and all their families and animals, and for all the clergy and people. We pray for seasonable weather and for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, we pray that we may share with justice the resources of the earth 
and live in trust and goodwill with one another. We pray for the aged and the infirm, for the bereaved and the lonely, and for the sick and suffering, especially for those affected by the COVID-19 virus, their families, friends and animals. We pray for all emergency services personnel and all health professionals diagnosing and treating the COVID-19 virus and those researching and developing cures. We pray for the poor and the oppressed, for prisoners and captives, and for all who care for them. We pray for ourselves and each other, including the First Peoples of the Diocese, especially the Awabakal, Biripai, Darkinjung, Gawagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai, Gringai, and Wanarua peoples. And this evening we pray especially for the clergy and people of the parishes of South Lakes, Stockton, Swansea and Taree, especially during this time of transition. And we pray for the mission to seafarers, chaplains and volunteers, and diocesan and ordinands in intensive formation and postulancy, especially as they begin their intensive formation program next week. We praise you, Lord God, for the communion of saints and for the glorious hope of the resurrection to eternal life. And all these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Amen. Good evening and God bless you. <laughs>